About five years ago, I attempted this memory Everest pie challenge. Everest pie memory challenge. Everest matrix pie challenge, something like that. Anyways, I had to memorize 10,000 digits of pie and then I was quizzed on different portions of five digit chunks within the 10,000. I had to know it forwards and backwards. I needed to know if you said any five of those 10,000s, what were the next five and the previous five? I had to do that 50 times without mistakes as fast as possible. Guess what? I failed. Six, one, one, seven, seven, next. Incorrect. I wouldn't even say I got pretty close. In the actual attempt, I think I got maybe 30 right because as soon as you get one wrong, attempt is over. You only get three attempts for the day for the record to count. Now I believe at that time, the record was around 16 minutes. And I believe last year or the year before, it was broken and is now at around 14 minutes. If you do the math, it's actually not very much time to give your answer for all of those 50 digit chunks. It's a really hard record. It's 10,000 digits, but divided in groups of five. That means that there are exactly 2,000 different five digit chunks that I need to know. 2,000, right? So you say one of 2,000 things, I need to know exactly where I am in this 10,000 digits of pi and say what comes next and what comes before really fast. 50 times, no mistakes. Now about a year ago, no, actually a year ago, I did a video where I ate a bunch of pizza and recited 1,000 digits of pi. So as I was training for that and kind of relearning a lot of the digits that I had forgotten from five years ago, I relearned the first thousand again. And through that practice and through that video, I ended up thinking, you know what? Maybe I should keep going. So I relearned another thousand and another thousand and another thousand. And before I knew it, I was pretty close to what I used to know, which was 10,000 digits of pi. So I said at this point, hey, we're in lockdown, COVID, I got nothing to do. Let me just keep going. Let me keep on mastering these digits and see if I can break the record in the upcoming year. So I'd spent hours when I would run, when I would row, when I would take a shower, when I was in bed, rocking my new infant to sleep, I would just be reciting digits of pi in my mind. I actually, this is a true story, would put my newborn infant to sleep by reciting pi. I don't know if that's cute or funny. <laughs> But anyways, the record itself is actually kind of boring to watch. It's just, you know, me sitting there, judges telling me what numbers, you know, from the 10,000 that I should be trying to answer correctly. And I thought, why not try to think of a more interesting way to demonstrate this feat of memory? So I teamed up with a company called Oat Foundry. They're based in Philadelphia and they make really cool shit like this split flap screen. And basically what it is, it's like those old boards you'd see at like a train station where it flaps airports and stuff where it shows all the departure times and arrivals. But they make these custom size, custom look, you can program them to do whatever you want. So that got me thinking, what if I could have them build me a machine that challenges me to do this Everest memory pie challenge? So thus, the impossible pie machine was invented. Now my plan is to do a proper record attempt but this is kind of just a little intro to tell you a little bit about it and to show you how it works. It's Pi Day, so why not? Now, before we dive in and do some demos of what this thing can do, because it's got a mind of its own, it can choose any of those random five digit sequences and test me. I figured you're watching this video, you wanna, you wanna learn something, you don't wanna just watch me. So, as I always do in every Pi video that I've ever done on Pi Day, is give you something to walk away with. And this year, it's gonna be an extra digit of Pi. So most people know 3.14. I believe in one of my videos in the past, I said, hey, you wanna know a little bit more than the average person? Just remember one more digit, a one, 3.141. That's easy, anybody can add a one to what they already know. Now we're gonna take it even further. We're gonna add an extra digit to that. And just so you don't get confused, just think of 3.14, the one four. What's the next number after 14? It's 15. All right, we're gonna do five attempts just to see what it's like. I don't know which ones that this pie machine is going to choose. It has a mind of its own, it's been programmed that way. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna show me five digits. Now you can play along with me if you refer to this crazy page of digits. And so it'll show me that five digit number. I'll get like three seconds or so, more or less, to think of which digits come after immediately and which five digits come before. So make sure to check me, although I typically know when I'm right or wrong. 
So 67702, that is, okay, the next one is 89891. And the one before is 93313. So 89891. 89891. And then 93313. All right, so 03068. Okay, I think I got it. It's, I think the next one is 03844. Right, still got some time. And then the one before is gonna be 14215, I believe. All right, so 03844. 03844. Nice, and then 14215. You can't beat Moon Machine. You just can't. Let's do another one here. 30992. 30992. 30992. Yeah, the next one is going to be 44889. And eight 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 one nine nine four. Nice. Ooh, I have to search for that one. All right, let's do another one here. Zero nine nine three nine. The next one is three six one zero three. Three six one zero three. And the one before is going to be 93620. 95620. All right, here we go. Last one here. 41200. 41200. The next one is 65975, I believe. 65975. Six, six, five, and the one before is going to be 51012. So six five nine seven five. Nice. And then five one zero one two. You ain't got nothing on me. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned because on this channel I'll be doing some form of attempt for this record in the near future. I gotta figure out the logistics because I want to make it public. I want to make it big. I want to make it safe, obviously. Um, so stay tuned for that, but it's, it's coming soon. It's coming 2021 and uh, it's going to be exciting. I feel really good about it. I've been training really hard for it, but in the meantime, check out these guys, Oat Foundry. They're just awesome. They have some really, really funky stuff. They also did a video with Chris Ramsey, who you've seen on this channel before. You can check that video out in the description as well. Have a memorable and happy pie day. And don't forget to eat some pie whether it's like an apple pie or a pizza pie, I don't care, just eat some pie. And don't forget that extra digit, 3.1415. I'm out.